Good evening, sports fans. I'm Frank Sulkowski, and I approve of this sports cast. Pretty simple for the Benedictine Cadets. Beat Wesleyan in Game 3 of their GHSA AA semifinal series and move on to the state championship. But it's safe to say you reach this point of the season, nothing comes simple. You'll see what I mean. Take a look. The Cadets looking to advance to their first state championship game since 1961. Good start for BC. They're the visitors in Game 3, already 1-0 in the first when Patrick McGuire slaps the RBI single to center. That's going to make it 2-0. Moments later, Cadets go up 3-0. Ben Wright singling through the left side. That allows Cooper Marini to score. Like I said, it was 3-0. Al Pesto would get the start on the hill for Benedictine. He ends the bottom half with the strikeout. Moved to the fourth, now 5-1 BC, and they're adding to their lead. Ryan Wywood, he's sending one to shallow center. This one is trouble. He gets down, allowing Mikey Huggins to score. 6-1 Cadets. Moments later, Benedictine extending their lead. McGuire drives in two more with the base knock to right center. Benedictine builds an 8-1 advantage. You can make it 9-1. Next is Wright lining the run scoring single to right center. Benedictine would score a couple more to grab an 11-1 lead. Back comes Wesleyan. It's 13-7 in the fifth, and the hot-hitting Grant Colton is about to go yard. Colton with the shot to right center. His third home run of the game, a two-run job. That made it 13-9. In the seventh, Benedictine going to get some back. Couple on for Stevie Powers, who's going to single to left. That allows two cadets to score. The BC lead was back up to 16-9. Cadets would take a 19-9 lead into the bottom half of the seventh. Again, the Wolves battle back. Couple on for Colton, and how about his fourth home run of the game? Amazing. This shot going to make it 19-13. It's 19-16 later in the inning. Two outs, two on. Stevie Powers now into pitch. He is going to get the Wolf batter to ground his short. Cadets go to second for the out, and that's going to end a wild one. Benedictine is headed to the state championship series thanks to the dramatic 19-16 win over Wesleyan in game three of their semifinal series. We're happy to be here and uh, to be in that situation to uh, to play for the state championship. So uh, just, a, you know, just a great group of guys and coaches and everybody did their part today and we worked well as a team. Uh, we knew we were going to have to fight full seven innings because their bats are just hot. I don't know. I've never seen that in my life. But... It was uh, it was crazy. And Coach Farmer kept telling us we had to keep adding one uh, every inning at a time, and so it was definitely a good feeling to keep adding on and uh, be able to come out on top. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, I got a little nervous out there in right field. Went through three pitchers, I think, in the seventh inning. Oh, we're excited. We have two more games left, and we're state champions. That's all we got to do. So the GHSA Class AA State Championship Series is now set. Benedictine will host Greater Atlanta Christian in the finale. GAC will be the third team from Region 6 the Cadets have faced this postseason. The Championship Series getting underway Saturday right here in Savannah. Two games will be played on Saturday. A third game, if needed, would be played on Monday. Now back to Tuesday's win by the Cadets. The 1916 victory, a milestone for head coach Kevin Farmer. The win gave Farmer his 300th head coaching victory. Of course, Farmer picking up a majority of those career wins while leading Calvary Day to a pair of state championships. Congratulations going out to Coach Farmer and here's hoping he adds two more to that total come this weekend.